Phoebe Dinever has recently become quite the popular actress after her leading role in Netflix's hit romance series Bridgerton. However, that's not her first on-screen appearance, as she's been in a number of previous works, and since then, she's been set to star in multiple upcoming projects. So, what are some of those projects? When will they be coming out, and what role will she play in Season 2 of Bridgerton? While the release date is yet to be announced, Phoebe Dinever is set to be taking part in Amazon Studios' Exciting Times. And like its title, the book to screen adaption is full of action, drama, and of course, it's full of excitement with plenty of shocking moments as it explores contemporary romance, but with a twist. The series is based off of Noise Dolan's debut novel with the same name and follows 22-year-old Irish expat Ava who gets a job at a TEFL school in Hong Kong where she works with children to help with Hong Kong English. During her time there, she ends up pursuing a relationship with someone named Julian. However, she soon faces some issues and is thrown into a toxic environment with some very toxic people. Thankfully for Ava, though, she gets saved by the emergence of Edith, a Hong Kong-born and Cambridge-educated lawyer and Ava's second love interest. When Julian leaves for a months-long trip, Ava and Edith's relationship flourishes. They attend Chekhov performances and trendy cafes together, reflect on their mutual reluctance to come out of their families, and evaluate Britain's misguided attempts to age with grace. Overall, Naoui's Dolan's novel is intelligent, hilarious, and will certainly make for a great series. Since the series isn't expected to air anytime soon, since it's still only in pre-production, what are some of Denever's upcoming projects that will be released sooner? One movie that the actress is set to star in is The Color Room, which is set to come out by the end of 2021 at the latest. This film follows the journey of a young Clarice Cliff, who is a lively and very high-spirited factory worker during the 1920s in the industrial British Midlands. Set to make a big difference. Her creativity and ambition drive her to move from factory to factory despite the financial impact it has on her household, which she shares with her widowed mother Anne and youngest sitter Dot. Bursting out the seams with ideas for colors and shapes, Clarice takes more and more dangerous risks, but she manages to stay one step ahead of the workhorse and impress the eccentric factory owner, Collie Shorter, with her talent and innovation. But how does she make such a big change, and why is she so important that they made a movie based off of her. Well, the spirited Clarice works as an apprentice to renowned art designer Fred Ridgway, and during the middle of the Great Depression, she kept the factory going, ultimately setting up her future as one of the greatest art deco designers, making her a household name. With what's seemingly going to be a masterpiece of a movie, who will be starring alongside Deniver in her feature film debut? Opposite from the actress, Matthew Good will play Collie Shorter. Along with him will be David Morrissey, Darcy Shaw, Carrie Fox, and Luke Norris. When speaking on her role, and Ivor expressed that she was very excited to be representing one of the nation's most celebrated artists, stating it's truly such an honor to take on such a remarkable character. I feel proud to be working with such a strong female team, but in front and behind the camera. I look forward to telling Clarice's story and of course working with Matthew too. Another role Dynever will be taking on is in Sony Pictures' I Heart Murder. While there isn't much on this film, what is known is that it will be directed by Matt Spicer and written by Tom O'Donnell. And though the plot is being kept under wraps, the film is confirmed to be a female-driven thriller. With all the new and upcoming projects Deniver will be taking part in, what are some of the shows and movies she starred in previously? You'll want to stay tuned as we're soon going to reveal the upcoming plans of season two of the hit show Bridgerton and how Deniver has taken part in projects with other stars, such as Rupert Grint and Luke Pasqualino. Unlike some of her upcoming romance movies in The Village, Deniver plays a member of a secluded colonial village in the middle of the woods. The drama follows kind and adventurous Ivy Walker as she lives her life in what seems to be a peaceful and private village in the 1800s. She eventually gets engaged to fellow villager Lucius, but when he gets seriously injured, Ivy learns the real and dark truth about the village. When it comes as a shocker, the village is really just a construction of the village that the founders made to escape the world, aka the monsters they say lurk in the woods, as made up to keep anyone from living. Another shocking revelation is, spoiler, it's not actually the 1800s, but the 2000s. The village itself was built by members who had endured trauma growing up, ranging from someone's father being shot in the head, robbed, murdered, and dumped in the river. Each founder suffered a massive loss, yet their hopes to leave their pain behind and start a new life only extended their trauma beyond experience. They've ultimately made their children and their children and so on unknowingly a part of their trauma. It's essentially a self-care cocoon built from good intentions but with bad results. As time goes on and founders get older, they have to make the 
the decision. Will they confront the reality of the situation and reveal the truth behind the village or continue this cycle of trauma? We'll have to watch to find out. Following that previous movie, we're finally here to answer the question that's eagerly been lying ahead. What did Deniver star in with Rupert Grint and Luke Pascolino? Well, the long-awaited answer is Snatched. This crime novel series is based off the popular 2000 movie of the same name and is inspired by a real-life heist that took place in London. So what happens? Well, when a group of hustlers in their 20s discover stolen gold, they're thrust into the high-stakes world of organized crime. They must work fast and smart to navigate the dangerous waters of London's underworld, which is full of rogue cops, international mobsters, local villains, and much more. Grint plays the rather posh Charlie Cavendish, Pascalino plays Albert Hill, and Deniver plays Lottie Mott. Some other castmates include Lucian Laviscount, Juliette Aubrey, and Tamer Hassan. All in all, Snatch is a fun and adventurous show with lots of action that'll keep you going. Like the last, the next show we're going to discuss is proven to also be quite a fun and adventurous show, becoming one of the most popular ones on the Netflix streaming service. So what is it? As many have suggested, it's Bridgerton. Based off the book series by Julia Quinn, the series became an instant hit due to its steamy romances, glamorous costumes, and beloved characters. Set in 1813, Regency-era England, the first season of the drama follows the oldest daughter of the respected Bridgerton family, Daphne Bridgerton, played by Deniver herself. Daphne is seeking out love, but not just any, someone that sparks true love following her parents' relationship. While the market seems to be filled with eligible bachelors, there happens to be some factors that make the decision a bit trickier. That was until she met the charming yet rebellious Duke of Hastings, one of the most eligible bachelors in town. Sparks fly between the two immediately, despite both claiming to dislike everything the other stands for. Daphne and the Duke begin engaging in a battle of wits as they face off against society's expectations of their futures. Last but certainly not least, we finally arrived at the last question that many may have been waiting to hear the answer to. What will happen in Bridgerton Season 2? Well, while this is one of the multiple projects that Deniver is about to be in, she won't quite be the main character. While the series' first season focused on Daphne Bridgerton and her relationship with the Duke, they essentially are only just one part of the Bridgerton universe. The story explores the lives of all of the eight Bridgerton children, which means that there's an endless amount of story to tell for a second season, and even another six. As for the next season, though, the show will be centered around the second book in the series, which follows the next Bridgerton sibling, Anthony, who's in a love triangle between his bride-to-be and her older sister, Kate. But back to the topic of Deniver, as many know, she won't be the leading lady in the Netflix romance as she was in the first season. But nonetheless, she'll still get to hear her and her newborn. When speaking on the new season, she described it as being different, stating, I think the fans who have read the books and know the books are aware that every season will focus on a different sibling's journey. She said, adding, and it might be a little bit more of a surprise for the fans that love Daphne and Simon's story so much. But I think that's honestly the joy of the show in the long term, getting to see these different love stories play out, claiming that the next season will likely just focus more on her relationship with the Bridgerton family. With that said, that's going to wrap up this video. What upcoming movie starring Phoebe Deniver are you most excited for? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.